Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Uh, sorry, I haven't been on in a while. Things have gotten a little crazy. Um, sorry, I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready for work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to catch up with you. Um, and I got some happy mail that I wasn't expecting. And, um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, a lot of people have been asking how my daughter is. Uh, we got the MRI results back. I don't know. I think I, I don't think I've talked to you guys about this yet. Um, yeah, she got the MRI results back <clears throat> and they suspect that what happened was she had a little tiny blood clot that went up into the left side of her brain and gave her a mini stroke. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> whew, yeah. <clears throat> um, he doesn't believe that it's going to happen again. Uh, he figures it was a one-off or something due to stress. I don't know. Um, but at any rate, uh, she's doing good. Um, we're all pretty shaken by that. Um, she's still scared, of course. You know, it's, uh, that's a pretty big thing to swallow. So, but she's okay. She's doing okay. Um, we're going to be leaving in two days to go to her place for my grandson's first birthday. Can you believe it? It's already been a year since he's been born. I just, I am absolutely shook by that. Um, he's just, oh my God, he's, he's such a good kid. Um, he's always smiling. If you put the camera on him, he does the cheesiest smile. It's hilarious. Uh, he's he's going to be a character, that one. Um, he's <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, trying to walk on his own. He's He walks all over the furniture, you know, or walks uh, around the furniture and everything. And he's taken a couple of steps on his own, but nothing major. So I'm sure that that's around the corner. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, so that's going to be a good visit. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to be going on the Stanley Park train, Christmas train for his birthday. I've actually, I've been here my whole life and I've never been on that train. I, I just don't know. Like, pfft. Maybe I did when I was little, 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 but yeah. Um, yeah, it, apparently it's harder to get tickets for that than it is for a Taylor Swift concert. So it was crazy. <laughs> so I figured, you know, this is, it, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. George is coming with and, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to be leaving Bailey with our housekeeper, um, for a couple of days she's gonna have a blast uh <clears throat> so yeah um what else uh we found out yesterday that um the move for my shop has been upped good news bad news um so when we get back from, we're coming back on the 18th, uh, from our trip, it's a very short trip. So I think that's uh Monday. Um, then we've got Christmas, uh, at the shop and right after Christmas, we pack up, we are going to be out of the shop by the end of the month or sooner. We're going to take all of the stuff from the shop. We're going to bring it back to the house. Um, weather permitting, I'm going to go back to skip the dishes for a little while. And then 
hopefully we get into the new shop on February 1st. It's going to be a whirlwind couple of weeks. But, you know, I need to get out of there. That place is sucking the life out of me. Um, it takes everything in me to actually walk in the door. My heart and everything, my heart, soul, everything is already in the new place. <clears throat> so, and that that is a cluster as well right now. Um, I don't know what's happening over there, but we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening there. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. I can't even remember. Don't know if you can hear that, but the next door neighbor's dog's going ballistic right now. Um, let me show you a couple of things that I'm working on. Uh, or have worked on. I can't, oh, you guys. <clears throat> I got a customer that wanted a an infinity scarf done up on the Addy machine. Um, I have never joined uh, a scarf from the Addy machine before. So I was trying to look up ways of doing that and everything just looked horrible, right? So I thought, I'm going to try something different. And you guys, I came up with something that is going to be crazy um, that I'm going to carry in my shop. I, I just, I was so excited. It was like one o'clock in the morning. I ran into the bedroom, <laughs> jumped into bed and woke up George. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm not doing a tutorial on it because, um, number one, I, I can't do a tutorial on an Addy machine. Um, for those of you that know how to use an Addy, you'll probably be able to figure this out. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally pumped. I don't know if this is something I invented, if it's already out there, but I've never seen it. So... Hang on. Oh, I'm going to have an avalanche here. <laughs> oh, and there it goes. Oh, oh, you guys, my hip has not healed from my falls. Uh, my right hip is the one I, I landed on, but my left hip is the one that's the problem. You guys are like, there we go. <laughs> um, I've, I've just got sciatica down, <clears throat> down my left leg. And it's just, oh, it's aching so bad. My hip hurts all the time. It's just crazy. Anyway, okay. So here is the Infinity Scarf. This what this is, I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is the uh, Michaels brand value yarn. Um, I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> so, but anyways. Um, so I decided to do, you know, the, uh, the headbands, the twisted headbands. I decided to twist the, this, um, the join like that. And I thought, well, it is what it is, right? So I put it on. I figure, okay, so she's going to be doing this, you know, whatever, right? Oh, where is it? There. And I thought, well, I don't know. It's, uh, it is what it is, right? And then I had an epiphany. You take the twist... You put the twist on your head like you're doing a headband, right? Oops. You pull it, you twist it around, and you can either wear it like this or you can twist it again. 
And look at that, you guys. You have your headband and your scarf and your cowl. Like, what? I was so excited when I did this. Right? And not only that, but... Now, it's a ponytail hat. You can have your ponytail out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, seriously. Look at that. It's perfect. I, You know what? I was just so stoked about this. Um, and it's so cozy and warm. And I thought, oh my God, this woman's going to freak out when she sees this. Now, you can make this longer or shorter. You can make it short enough to just be a cowl with the headband. Or you can do it longer so that this is like hanging down more or whatever. But considering the weather, cold weathers that we get... Um, I think that this is perfect, you know, I mean, look at that. Right? Belclava. <laughs> it's like, I'm just so happy about this. I, I'm really hoping that she's going to like this. Um, I've got George made just another one. I haven't put it together yet. He made it last night for me. Um, I used, or he, and George used two balls of the, um, I don't even have a ball here. Oh, it's just the Michael's Value brand. Oh, I guess it's Loops and Threads now, isn't it? Um, yeah, so the Loops and Threads Value brand. So, but yeah, I was just, I'm totally stoked about this. Brilliant. I'm not saying I'm brilliant, but it's brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of look like a hot mess. So that's that. Um, I'm going to be making a whole bunch more. I, can, I keep saying me. Uh, I'm going to get George <laughs> to make a whole bunch more. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm, I'm so excited about that. It's going to be one of the new staples in my shop. So, yay. Okay, so this, this is something I kind of came up with on a whim. Um, I've got a couple of different things going right now, a couple of sweaters going right now. This one, I've never really made a thinner style of sweater. Not really. Have I? Not really. But this is the Bernat Super Value. This is one of the yarns that I got from that lady that brought me all this yarn. Um, so this is, I've never used, this is like a burnt orange. It's a little, it's kind of like that. Um, the color is, oh, Sandy, where's your glasses? I thought I had them in here. Maybe not. Oh, did I knock them down? Oh, I knocked them down. Uh, this is pumpkin. So <clears throat> I thought, okay, I'm going to try this. And the new yarn that I got, the latte cake in this color. Now, <clears throat> I thought, well, this might be actually kind of nice. This is the new color. Okay, you guys, I need my glasses. <laughs> I just, oh, hang on. Okay. Ah, ouch. Um, this is the new color that I got. And the color is uh, lemon sponge. Of course, it's darker than that, but um, I just absolutely love this. These are not my colors at all. Not even a little bit. But for some reason it just I was kind of su 
excuse me, I was really surprised that this color came out in the fall. Like, it's more of a summer color. But anyway, <clears throat> and it worked out perfectly. Now, this pattern is, it's, it's kind of like the... Angela from my Precious Yarneries sweater. Um, oh, why can't I ever remember the name of that pattern? <clears throat> it's her chunky sweater pattern. Um, so it's, oops, kind of a knockoff on that. So, but it's, I don't know if you can see, it's got the ridges. Maybe if I turn it this way. It's got the ridges on it. Anyway, it's done in the back loop. But I think it's turning out really pretty. So this is the back piece. And then I've done one of the side pieces. And now I'm working on the other side piece. <clears throat> I don't normally like doing sweaters with three pat with the three panels and then doing the sleeves, but this one I'm going to make an exception for. Um, I think, and it's very light and airy. It's more of a, a spring sweater, so I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to get it done. I am going to probably put a hood on it. So, and then oh, I might make I might put pockets on it we'll see hmm. you know how me and pockets I don't like doing pockets so anyway okay now I got a message from speaking of Angela from my precious yarnery I got a message from her saying you know did you get your package I was like um I don't know. I'm at work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so she sent me a package. I, yeah, I have, I have, I have feelings about this. Um, I told her, I says, I feel I have so much guilt. Because I haven't been able to send anybody anything. I didn't even send my bestie, Sandy, from Leftist Right Crochet. I didn't even send her anything. And I, I send her something every year. And I just, I've got so much going on that I just, I botched Christmas this year, you guys. Like, I just feel so bad. So, um, oh, no. I, I don't know if you guys have seen all of her videos. No way. Yes. Um, I'm feeling this now and I'm, oh, hang on. Where's the, oh, I don't have any scissors here. Um, I've been catching up on her videos and oh god I think I know what this is oh no Um, I watched one of her, um, <clears throat> I watched one of her videos and you guys got to go watch her videos. She made a absolutely, <sighs> try not to cry. <laughs> An absolutely stunning blanket. I believe it was from the crochet crowd. And 
and she said it was for a special Canadian friend. I honestly thought that it was Kimmy from Kim's Crochet and Knits. I... Oh, you guys. How did you get this in this bag? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, there's a card. Oh. Oh, you guys. I'm... Isn't this a gorgeous card? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Look at the sparkle. Of course, it's got sparkle. It's Angela. <laughs> oh, and she sent me a couple of her calendars. Oop. Oh, you guys. Dear Sandy, hope you enjoy, hope you enjoy this gift I made for you. Please know how special a friend you are to me. guys I <clears throat> I've had such a bad couple of weeks <laughs> and this um This blanket is freaking amazing. Amazing. Um, I don't even know if I have room to show it to you guys. Hang on. Let me see. Hang on. Oh. See that? Excuse me, mess. I have no words. Um, I have absolutely no words. This is like Angela just reached out and hugged me. And is telling me it's going to be okay. I'm 
sorry guys, I'm just so emotional right now. Um, look at it, it's even got bobble stitches on it. Like, there is so much work that went into this. It is absolutely stunning. Like, look at this. Um, oh, Angela, I just can't thank you enough. God, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, wow. <clears throat> um, My bestie, Sandy Duda, a few years back, she made me a blanket and she made my husband a blanket. And I have that with me on the couch with me every day. And it's like, every time I wrap it around me, it's like she's there. And this is going to be the same. Um... I'm going to have this beside me every day. And I'll just I'll switch between them. <laughs> and then I've got my two girls with me all the time. Oh, I just, I can't thank you enough, Angela. I'm going to, I'm going to send you a message um, after this. And, uh, Wow, what a gift. I just, God, that's so stunningly pretty. Look at that. Like, oh, wow. Um, Angela seems to be the blanket queen. She made my daughter some blankets when, um, so did Sandy. Uh, when my daughter had my uh, my grandson, and <clears throat> oh, he still uses them, <laughs> so um, yeah, okay. Instead of me sitting here just blubbering the whole time, I can't let you guys go, so I can go and contact Angela. And thank her personally. Oh, this is just the best. Oh, thank you so, so, so much. I honest to God thought this was going to, to Kimmy. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later. I'll take some video of our trip. And I'll do another video soon. And I guess I will talk to you guys later. Sorry, I'm blubbering. <laughs> okay, I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>